Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing like a talk through or something like that, more like a speed through because I'll like tell you what I'm using and then I'll speed through it so it won't take too long. Um, this that I'm using, I got this from Amazon. It's like a there's thirty in there, like four dollars or something for it. I'll try my best to link it down below. This is the um collagen eye zone mask i think i'm pronouncing that right collagen yeah okay so i just leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes um whenever i feel like i have you know puffy on their eyes or something so i've had it on i just got out the shower just washed my face and everything just didn't put anything on my face yet so i've had it on for about 10 to 15 minutes now so i'll take it off and all of this is like my before I put on makeup and then after I take take off makeup I you know do these things so this is the rose hip oil I purchased this from I think it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls it was like six dollars and it's been a little bit over a year and it lasts it's still there um, so yeah just put this all over my face I do have dry spots on my face. I rub that in. And again, happy Easter, y'all. Uh, I know I'm late, but yeah. And after usually after I put that on I use my Mario Badescu rose water aloe herbs and rose water spray I love this thing it's been I've been using it for quite some time I just bought this huge bottle from Ulta Beauty um, so I just go ahead and spray it all over and just let that dry before I do anything, before I even put on primer or anything like that. So, this is what I usually do before I put on makeup and after I put on makeup. I wash my face and everything. Uh, this is my lip therapy that I swear by. Use it every two hours and it will work. So, that's the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. This f um, flavor is grapefruit and ginger. Um, I've said this in a previous video um, before I couldn't really wear like liquid lipsticks because my lips no matter what I do blistex sugar scrubs and everything my lip would still be bad but this it says use every two hours yeah guys this is my salon spot salon perfect done in one bro pomade and dark brown and I think I bought this from Walmart almost a year ago <laughs> so it's my dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hill brow pomade. And like I said, my brows are waxed. It's just easier for me to do them when they're waxed. Alright, so I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Pro Filter Innocent Retouch Primer. I just went out and purchased this. It's brand new. It has like a soft smell. Mm. Okay, so I've applied my Pro Filter Primer and then I'm gonna go in with Fenty Beauty foundation in the color 430 I just picked this up in so yes after I fully apply the foundation and everything I let it sit before putting on any concealer or anything else so it can really like but that oxidizes or set whatever you want to say it does I just leave it for like four or five minutes and so I know some people might leave it longer but that's about, about the amount of time I need to see the difference. That's for me. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let me go in with my 
Once again, cap goes D and D39 cool. Okay, now that I have blended out my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and with the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier <laughs> translucent powder in the color Deep Dark. I just, I also just picked this one up too. Okay, now I'm gonna go with my black radiance true complexion contour palette this is a powder powder palette I know they have a, a cream one and this is the medium to dark I know <laughs> I used it a lot I love this thing Now that I've contoured, I'm gonna go ahead then with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in 360 Mocha. I'm gonna use this. <laughs> Bless me, Lord. Sorry. I'm gonna use this to dust away the translucent powder. And also to set my whole face. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't include this eye look in the video because it was too long. So I will be updating, I will be uploading this foundation routine and then my tutorial for the eye look. Um, so once again, I apologize. I didn't want to make the video too long. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. <laughs>